Hey guys, welcome back to Big Bro and Sis Reacts. I'm Tay, this is too much. Up, y'all. And today we're reacting to the Suicide Squad movie trailer. Yes, uh, sorry for my camera quality. It is trash. My camera is horrible. <laughs> what? I jumped my strawberry. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so we're going to jump into this trailer, see what's going on with the Suicide Squad. I'm excited for this one. I like the first one personally. The uh, extended edition is my favorite one. So I enjoyed it. I think there was a lot more to the film that was cut out. I know it was studio interference, unfortunately, but I still enjoyed the movie for what it was. Yeah, um, I did. I love the character development. So I'm excited to see how, well, this one has a new director. So let's, I'm excited to see uh, what they do with the film and all the characters they added. So you ready to jump into it? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. I think it's going to surprise people. To kind of sit there and go, how did they do that? It's going to be different from any superhero movie ever made. Oh, look how she's shooting. I love her, too. It reminds me of shooting with her back. There's no one better in the world oh, I would, to direct I have to turn the my Suicide Squad. What'd you say? Then James I said I love what she did with her I was gun. excited with an opportunity oh, yeah. to be able to do the angles. Suicide Squad in the way I like how they took could got from her back to her red and black This one is um, completely color. fully covered. This is a gritty yeah. 1970s war And how she's in the water. Combined with the brilliance of James Gunn's characters and comedy. You need your director to set the vibe. The Suicide Squad is just a twisted fantasy of characters. Within each of our characters, there's a certain beauty. Within most of them, that some of them are just oh, is that the rat? Through. It's the rat. Oh, the rat or the weasel? Do she Captain America? No, I think it's the weasel. The rat keeper is the person. At any cost, no matter how oh, yeah, many people he needs to kill yeah, along right. the way. Okay, I got it. Don't ever settle back like you think you know where this is going, cause you don't. As soon as you have you some don't. sense about what's about to happen next, James comes in. No! Everyone's exploding, genitals, heads, arms, legs. Yeah, and after it's like again. a big, massive <laughs> like graphic the, novel brought to life. This is by far the biggest movie I've ever made. I don't think oh, they you know what to expect. No, I missed don't get somebody else about to eat them. This has been truly the greatest, most exciting the so one time I like, I can't even process what's happening. Like, but now, yeah, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, that was probably a horrible reaction because I was so into it. I don't even think I barely talked. I barely talked. So, um, but yeah, I'm just going through. Yeah, that rat is weird. I mean, weasel. Weasel. Yeah. Uh, weasel. The heck? Um, there's like a there's like a walking picture of him. Um, it goes so fast. If you go to uh, 23 seconds, you can see a whole. Oh, I seen it! I seen it! He picked him up from behind. Oh my gosh! Go to 23 seconds and pause it. You can see the whole squad lined up. Well, I don't know if that's all of them, but you see King Shark on the end. Um, Harley holding her staff. They're all in the rain. It was mixed with behind the scenes and uh, actual scenes. I'm assuming they're still editing and stuff, so. But yeah, um, so what are your initial thoughts? I'm trying to see what she just told me. No to it looks three, extremely action-packed. Oh, I see it. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. King Shark, so, ooh. I don't see the weasel. It looks like she has like those, um, Harley looks like she has those like caveman pointer sticks thingies. Yeah, yeah. It, it looks like they're on some sort of island. So I'm, I'm sure she right. has a makeshift weapon. Um, the thinker is also, the thinker from The Flash that was on The Flash season four. Yeah. He's on the team as well, actually. I thought he was going to be a villain, but he's on the team. They're actually fighting um, Starro. Um, you know who Starro is? The yeah. stars that latch onto your face and control you. Oh. Yeah, Starro. Yeah. Wasn't that in like Supergirl? 
not Supergirl, but, it's in Justice League. No, was it in Justice League? Yeah, it was, I think it was in one of the Justice League episodes. Yeah, the first season. Remember in Young Justice, they used the Star of Tech to put it in Justice League's back of their head to control them. The back of their neck, they like inserted it, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was yeah. just Starro, but Starro's uh, a, a, Oh, wait, then he inserted it. But yeah, they didn't. Uh, yeah, so I think that's the villain. So that'll be actually really interesting because it's an alien entity. We're dealing with more alien threats. It'd be interesting to see how that plus to see, uh, you know, the world isn't very friendly of aliens as we've seen how they treat Superman. <laughs> yeah. They hate him while he's alive and love him when he's dead. Uh, <laughs> it's a hate, late, hate, hate, love relationship. Yeah, so... I'm excited to see. I I, I want I want to watch this a couple more times just to go through frame by frame because there's I like to do that slowly because there's so much detail because it moves so fast. But yeah, it looks like a lot of action. Um, I'm excited to see. I mean, Harley last time we saw her in Birds of Prey, she went off with um, what's her name, Cassandra Kane. They drove away in their car and she left, and the Birds of Prey did their thing. So Harley was a free woman. So it's kind of interesting to see. Obviously, if she's back with the Suicide Squad, it's because she got captured. Or because it's like the end of the world. Harley don't care. Let's be honest. Harley doesn't care. She's being forced. Well, what if back that? under Amanda Waller's thumb? They got her somehow. But she they- would care if it had if it affected her in some way. If it was the end of the world. How would it affect her, though? Uh, she's usually Because it'll the- be the end of the world. I don't think she would care. She'd be like, eh, call one of those superheroes. Call Batsy or something. She'll just say some crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, you're, you're that you're, one. They have something on her. <laughs> or Maybe. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to see what happens with that. Um, how she gets captured and if she re-escapes. So that'll be an interesting concept. And like I said, she was sporting the whole pink and blue. Now she's back in the black and red. So she's jumping back. She's usually in that jester colors when she's with Joker. And he's not in the movie. So I hope they do something with uh, him because he definitely didn't get the shine. The Joker? Yeah. Actor? Oh. Yeah. That I, that's, he was a really good actor. Yeah. He I, is a really good actor. And I think he deserved more screen time. I'm, he I, did. I hope he, he does. Like he's like he he played his script really well. Like I I really wanted them to do a Batman movie with Ben Affleck and Jared Leto who played Joker. Mm-hmm. I would have loved to see that. And mm-hmm. how the whole thing with Robin and how he was killed by Joker, like that would have made for an epic story. Um, but crap happens. So. It is what it is. I'm excited to see this movie. It comes out next year. Um, so we don't have to wait too long. I think probably, I think actually a year from this month. So exactly a year. Um, so I, I'm excited to see it. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it. I need to know more. I need to see more. It wasn't a, an actual trailer trailer. So I can't digest it without going through it for hours. But um, we're gonna, we got to keep it moving and do some other trailers. So um Unless you got anything to add, sis, we're going to move on. No, I don't. All right. Well, everyone, be sure to let us know what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check out our Patreon. And we also have trailers of the Wonder Woman 1984 up. We have Justice League, the Snyder Cut trailer up, reaction trailer up. And we're about to do the Batman and the Flash Season 7 teaser. So, and anything else I can find out there. So, be sure to check those out. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.